Hello Sagittarius, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I ask that spirit of love and light meets you where you're at in this current space and time. So this can apply to your sun, moon or rising or Venus. Um, if you also have a lot of planets in your ninth house, this reading may resonate as well. Um, or if you have a different sun sign and maybe your sun is in the ninth house, this reading could uh, resonate as well. So let's take a look and see what we got for you Sagittarius. So I've already laid the cards out. Um, the first card is going to represent the message from the universe. So this is your message from the universe. And I'm using the 90s tarot deck. So you're going to see a lot of people from the 90s on here. Uh, or a few. So this is Lisa Bonet from The Cosby Show. So you may know who she is. So this is a magician. So the universe wants you to know, Sagittarius, that you are the magician. Okay. I almost didn't want to do a reading for you guys because I really felt like you guys were fine. <laughs> I mean, you may have some hiccups or whatever, but I felt like you guys were going to make it through. So this is obvious. You're the magician. Okay. You are the creator of your reality. Okay. So it's really important for you to understand that and also to understand your true power. Um, yes, we are in the physical realm and we are focused on surviving. Um, we're focused on money. We're focused on just living right trying to survive in this world but the universe wants you to understand that you don't have to have material attachments to be powerful or, or to or to survive okay if that makes sense you have that power within you it's like you can go anywhere and sow your seed you're the magician you can go you can do anything you're the magician it's like <laughs> no understanding this i mean you, you're ruled by Jupiter, which is a um, lucky planet, okay? It's um, um, a planet of karma, of course, but um, expansion of good karma, you know? So it's like you have this within you, Sagittarius, and it's really important for you to see your power, okay? But use your powers for good, not evil, okay? All right. Now, the next card we have here is how to bring about healing and balance. So this page of pentacles, I can't remember who this girl is. Um, she's from the TV show, I think my so-called life. I just can't remember her name. Okay, but this is a page of pentacles. So this is the um, what needs to be healed. Okay, or no, hold on. This is how to bring about healing and balance. I really feel like this is research. There's a need for some of you Sagittarius to do a lot of research or some research to um, bring about healing and balance. This could just be researching, you know, maybe um, diets or uh, herbs, like, you know, researching herbs, things that are going to um, help heal you or researching maybe what uh, school to go to or researching, you know, how to invest in certain things because it is pentacles so it can have something to do with finance so it's doing like some financial research okay i feel like this will bring healing and balance to you once you're able to research and um it's like it's going to allow you to navigate better okay there's a strong emphasis on like researching it's like you're needing to get more facts more information in order to make the decision like there's a decision that some of you are needing to make but you need to um do more research okay it's something about research um i also see here um with page of pentacles this can be um a young energy this can be a child that you're maybe dealing with okay um, or your child or maybe it's a child in your family it's like there's a child around okay and um, I'm hearing curiosity so you could have a very curious child and maybe they can be a bit um, distracted at times okay and it's like <sighs> there's a need for you to be um, a little bit more supportive uh, Sagittarius and um, supportive in a way that is going to set this young energy, this child, whoever this curious person is, um, it's supporting them in a way that's going to set them up for success and not failure. Okay. So it's really important for you to understand that. Okay. You got to support your child in a way that's going to help them be independent or, okay. 
um, that's for some of you. Okay, so this is this next part here is um, blocks from within that you need to address. So what blocks from within are you needing to address? This is the Four of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is my Sun and Capricorn card. So some of you could have Capricorn in your chart or dealing with a Capricorn. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, it, it, you know, it can come up as controlling, okay? Sometimes it shows up as controlling. So some of you are needing to really um, just watch out for that. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's okay if you want to have some type of control over your life, but there is like a rigid energy with this Four of Pentacles, okay? Um, there's also a need for some of you Sagittarius to open up a bit more to, um, I'm hearing allow others to have access to you. There is an energy of like greedy here. Like you're trying to hold on to something. Okay. Um, for some of you, it's like you're holding on to your ways. It's like, it's hard for you to change. Okay. So this needs to be addressed. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, but there is an energy of um, greediness and the greediness may not be intentional. Okay, maybe you've learned this behavior. It's like for some of you, you're trying to hold on. It could be holding on to money or holding on to someone. It's like there's an energy of like separation issues. Okay, it's like you're trying to hold on. I don't know. I can't, it's kind of hard to explain it for some of you. It's like you're, you're holding on to this as a, it's like a security blanket. There's something that you're using as a security blanket. Okay. That's what I want to say. Um, okay. Um, um, and there's also an energy of like, like only child syndrome, like only child syndrome, like everything's my mind, but it's not just for an only child. It's for maybe a, a child that, um, shared everything. And so you're, you're wanting to have everything to yourself because all your life growing up, you had to share everything. So this is a call for some of you to be more open and be more, um, giving that's for some of you okay not all of you those who are always giving and you're like mother Teresa <laughs> don't worry about it it's not for you but some of you get to open up a little bit okay because some of you um may be hoarding like it's like hoarding your f money okay that's for some of you not all of you okay but for others of you it's a need to open up a bit more it's like you're kind of um rigid so um, how to build a strong foundation, okay? And the strong foundation can just be, you know, a strong financial foundation, a strong relationship foundation, it can be really anything. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Could be dealing with the um, Virgo or have Virgo in your chart, Taurus, Capricorn. You also could be doing, dealing with the Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart. So how you can build a strong foundation is by putting in the work. Be willing to um, accept help from others, okay, or ask for help. Some of you uh, could, going back to this card here, the Four of Pentacles, some of you may have a hard time asking for help, okay, and it's like you, you hoard everything, you hold on to everything, and, and really it doesn't do you any good, so you have to be willing to grow with this person. I really feel like... Um, this is this could be someone that you're actually with Sagittarius for some of you okay there's a need um, in order to build a strong foundation whatever this foundation is you have to be willing to work with others you have to be willing to merge with others okay and this has something to do with the work environment or your relationship really anything but you have to be willing to merge with others okay to really um, merge with them and put in the work Okay, it can be very difficult if you are trying to merge with someone or work alongside with someone and they are set on doing things their way and not really working with you. That could be a challenge. I understand that. And in that case, you just you may have to just, um, you know, forge forward. Okay, without this person. Okay, that's that's a special case for some of you guys. Okay. But most importantly, just putting the work in, whatever your goal is or your aspirations are, do the work, 
do the necessary work, okay, to uh, make this dream or to bring this uh, goal into reality, okay? Um, let's see here. What am I seeing with the Eight of Pentacles? Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, it just seems like diligent work. You have to keep putting the work in. I'll also see this as if it's not outside work, like dealing with other people, this is really going within, okay? This is doing the necessary work from within, okay? It's working on yourself. This is eighth house energy. This was also in the Gemini reading, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and of course, Sagittarius, your opposite sign is Gemini. So I do see this um, Eight of Pentacles as doing the work on yourself because the Eighth House energy is Scorpio. It's about, you know, death, transformation. So there could be um, maybe a certain way that you respond to things or do things. There needs to be a death that, that it needs to be over with. OK, so you can transform your life transform your situation for some of you it has something to do with like uh emotionals and there's a need to work on yourself it's like more so internal okay so for others of you who are not dealing with anybody on the outside and trying to merge and work together it's like the work is actually needs to be done from within the work needs to be done from within okay so the next card here is necessary changes for your soul growth and consciousness so your nest the necessary changes that need to take place for your soul's growth and consciousness. This is Six of Swords. Okay, Mercury and Aquarius. Um, yeah, this is Mercury and Aquarius. Um, but it could be uh, Libra or Gemini. Also could be Virgo energy. So I see here on uh, Sagittarius, the Six of Swords, it's about moving on. It's about letting go. It's not about... Um, uh, win or lose like before the six of swords it's the five of swords which is which is an energy of you know um like battle you know going going head to head with others you know being egotistical the back and forth right now you're over in the six of swords it's like you know what i'm not going to worry about the bullshit or going back and forth with other people Okay, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to move towards calmer waters. So for some of you, you can struggle with that, that conflict within you and it makes it hard for you to really focus on the positive. Okay, or to set your sights on moving forward. Okay, I'm hearing resentment. Okay, and there's a need for some of you to let go of the resentment that others have committed against you. Um, I I, I don't know why I was picking up on Leo, okay? So some of you could have been um, hurt or spited by a Leo or a Virgo, okay? It could be Leo, Virgo, cusp energy. Um, but there's a need to, like, move forward, okay? A need to move forward with the Six of Swords energy. This is really going to help your soul grow Okay, it's going to help you be more aware and conscious of yourself and just of your surroundings. So there's a need for you to just move forward. Okay, and you're thinking, have forward thinking. Um, yes, we have gone through horrible things in our past, but our past does not have to live in the present. You know, we're human, we're going to get triggered by certain things, but we have to be willing to grow from, um, learn from our situations and grow. Okay. So that forward thinking, you know, um, moving towards comma waters, um, focusing on a solution instead of the obstacles and the bullshit with other people. You know, there could be some um, conflict between people and, you know, those group of people can just be focused on what he said, she said instead of, OK, well, what are we going to do to fix the problem? So for some of you, you have a calling here to be more of a solution provider um, um, to be more of a like leader in certain in certain um, cases, okay. It's you you're going to be the one to come up with the solution, okay. And this is going to help your soul grow and bring more awareness. And so the sacrifice for your soul growth, okay. This is the sacrifice. Oh my goodness, this is Reese Witherspoon, Queen of Pentacles. So the sacrifice. Oh gosh. 
So, wow. So, some of you Sagittarius could be really, um, you could have Earth in your chart. Um, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. Some of you could have, um, I won't say it's an obsession with money, but you guys, you guys like security. Some of you. And you look at security and money as a sign of happiness and fulfillment. And that's not the case. Some of you could be rich, filthy rich. <laughs> you know, could be filthy rich, you know, um, but unhappy. Right. So it's really important for you, Sagittarius, some of you out there to be um, more aware. OK, understand that money is a tool. I mean, you can have all the diamonds and just luxuries in the world. But if you're not happy with them, then something's wrong. So something's definitely wrong. And that's where that self work is going to have to come in. OK. Um, but there is a, there could be an unhealthy connection just with material things. Okay. Earthly things, these earthly things, it's just fleshly things. So some of you could like to indulge, you could like to indulge in food, drink. Um, it could even be sex. It could really be anything. It's earthly. It's whatever this earthly thing is. Okay. Um, it's earthy stuff. Okay, it's like being in the world. <laughs> it's the same, be in the world but not of it. Okay, some of you are of the world. <laughs> okay, and it's okay. I mean, you know, it's uh, we're in the flesh. <laughs> so some of you are gonna have to take a look at that. Okay, that's what you need to sacrifice these earthly things. Okay, and really find that true happiness within. Okay, so um, what needs to be healed emotionally, mentally, and spiritually? Wow. This is what needs to be healed. The Ten of Cups. So your family. So um, there's some healing that needs to take place regarding your family. Okay. Um, your family. It could be your actual family. Like your family family. Or it could be in the work environment. There could be a lot of um, hurt people in the work environment. Or uh, within your family. There, there needs to be healing. Healing has to take place here. Okay. Um, some of you... Um, may know this, but you're too fixed. You're kind of too stuck. Um, it's like you're not doing anything about it. Okay, you know that you're like for some of you, you know your family's like kind of falling apart or being affected some way somehow. But it's like you're kind of set. Like you're kind of stuck. It's like you you either can't do anything about it or you don't want to. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you, okay? This is not for everyone. Um, but with this Ten of Cups here, yes, uh, there needs to be some healing within your family, okay? And I feel like once the healing is done, you know, um, it's going to promote um, or bring about a sense of healing emotionally, mentally, and spiritually to you. So once um, this healing takes place within your family, okay? And... Like I said, if it's not family, these are people that are very close to you, okay? I don't know why I'm hearing baby mamas, okay? Some of you Sagittarius could have more than one uh, baby mama, <laughs> okay? Or maybe have a lot of kids, something like that, okay? Something like that, all right? So the family dynamic needs to be healed. Relationships need to be healed, okay? Okay? Okay, and once this takes place, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna feel much better, of course. Um, you're going to feel healed emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Okay, and if it's not you, it's those around you. This could just be your kids too. Some connections, some relationships that need to be healed. Okay. Um, okay, so the last card is what to expect after healing takes uh, after healing takes place. <laughs> This is what you can expect after healing taking place. This is the nine of wands here. So I feel really feel Sagittarius once healing takes place. Wow. Some of you are going to have your guard up still. Okay. You're going to do the healing work, um, but you're still going to have your guard up. And it could be because, um, I don't know why I'm hearing it's a travesty. I don't know why I'm hearing that. It's like some of you, um, it's like you still have the aftershock of what you've 
went through okay but your guard is going to be up a bit but it's, you're going to be standing strong this is what i see here um i do see that a lot of you i don't know why i'm hearing dragged through the mud like you've been through some shit and once you start working on your healing and doing the necessary work it's, it's going to leave you feeling strong but tired okay but you're still standing strong here okay you're going to be able to persevere and you're also going to be able to overcome this is the nine of wands so this is like um moon and sagittarius this is you here okay i really feel like there's going to be a lot of confidence it's like your energy is going to be felt okay your energy is going to be felt and i really also i feel i really feel in my spirit like there's a lot of confidence here Okay, I feel like you're going to have a lot of confidence. And I also really feel like this is a lot of like internal work that you are needing to do. Yes, you can be dealing with other people, but it's like you're going to be doing a lot of internal work. Okay, for those of you, because not everybody's going to do the work. I mean, that's, that's just obvious. You know, everybody has a choice. <clears throat> but what else am I seeing here? Um, and I really see here, I'm going back to this page of pentacles. This is like, I'm seeing this as like the research you're doing. It's like self-research. It's like self-exploration. Okay. It's not the hermit card or anything like that, but it just seems like curiosity. It's like exploring yourself, who you are, what makes you tick. Like this really seems like doing internal work. Okay. Um, let me see here. We're going to pick the ninth card because the ninth card belongs to you, Sagittarius. Or ninth house belongs to you. Hello. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, the end of a tough cycle approaches. The end of a tough cycle approaches. That's amazing. Okay, and it's Capricorn. We're just talking about Capricorn. Okay, full moon and Capricorn. So this is sun and Capricorn energy here. Okay, and this was the block that needed to be addressed from within. So whatever this tough cycle that you're going through internally, okay, that's tough cycle is going to be ending, but it's going to take your perseverance. It's going to take your strength. Okay. Capricorn energy is cardinal energy. Um, they persevere. They overcome. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily mutable, but it's um, more so like an understanding energy. Okay. Um, but stern. Okay, you don't want to get into a vibration where you're too stern and you can't make um, the right decisions for yourself. Okay, it's like being too fixed. Okay, you have to be more understanding as well and just kind of seeing the big picture using your wisdom. You know, Saturn does rule Capricorn. So it's like learning through the lessons. Okay, learning through the lessons. And in order to do that, you have to be an observer. I really feel like Saturn is like an observing energy too. Okay, I'm going to pick a card from the middle. Sagittarius, pick a card from the middle. A message for you. Wow. Hey, Sagittarius. Hey, action. Action. This is for you, Sagittarius. So stop hesitating. Movement creates the magic. Nothing can hold you back. Okay, so stop hesitating. Okay, stop hesitating. So you hear it here first, okay? Movement creates magic, okay? And I was saying that you can go anywhere and create, do anything and create. You're the magician. All right, Sagittarius, that's gonna be the end of your reading if you liked it. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, of course. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, feel free to message me through my website. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.